because nobody has actually been dumb enough to try and put a screw blower on a Gen 3 Hemi. Especially a 10 liter PSI screw so, blower. Until now, there's always somebody dumb enough. Mm -hmm. I might just be that guy. Tom Bailey speaking. This is the Tom Bailey YouTube channel and I'm Tom Bailey. Right. Winner of Drag Week, uh, how many times? 17 times, Tom. All right, guys, a couple things to cover here. One is, what's one and two? I think last video that we did, we did cover that we are having an event. We're working on the final touches in August. It's gonna be an epic event, three-day deal. Pizzas, drag racing, uh, Aussie skids, it's gonna be cool. So just make sure, mark your calendar, save the date, I don't know, August 10th, 11th, 12th. There you go, there's that. The other is, Merchandise. We've been doing a lot with merchandise, a lot with online. We've been sorting a lot of stuff out. B's obviously been instrumental in that. But uh, a lot of you guys getting started have shirts and you kind of have a hard time, whatever, trying to figure out how to market them, sell them, fill the orders. So one thing at Sick the Mag that we will do is uh, we will put your merchandise. You send us your merchandise. We're not going to be the ones to design it. We're not going to be the ones to print it. But you send us your merchandise. We will put it in our system, we'll sell it for you, we'll cut you a check for whatever the, the proceeds are on it, like uh, no fees. We will not charge you for it. That's kind of a, that's a give back to the community type deal that, hey, if you do have shirts, you want the shirts to sell, we'll put them up on our website, our merchandise site. People go there, they buy your shirt. Like I said, once a month, as long as you're selling some shirts, whatever, we'll cut you a check. So uh, you want to inquire more about that with uh, um, info at sickmagazine.com. So if you're interested in that, so that's probably the best way to go about that. So the other All right, guys, Midwest drags last week. So great showing with cars. Uh, the rain was able to hold off. I mean, it definitely rained every day, but they actually didn't have any rain out days. So that was awesome. Uh, Garrett, AKA Cletus did a good job with new Steve Morris, big block going in untested. Um, untested, basically undone, did one wheelie with it, but then they were able to work it around all week. I've been in that situation before where you have an untested platform and you just show up to the event and hope for the best. So best was they ended up getting a six second pass during an event, so that's his first. He had a six with that before with the LS motor. That's his first six in competition. So awesome achievement for him. And then, I, I mean, won the whole event. So I split out of there after Tuesday's racing uh, to head down to Go see my buddy Boshir, uh, Tennessee. All right, so I split out of Midwest Drags yesterday because I had to come down to, I call it Tennessee, but technically we crossed into Georgia um, for a secret location, but. Here's what's being worked on here. This guy thinks that he needs to clean up his table before I start filming, but might be a little late, okay. so. He's just being mean is what it is. <laughs> Working on a mock-up intake manifold. Not quite sure if you know what that might be for, but this is just a, a mock-up block that we're using for some pulley stuff. What do you guys say, Daniel? Well, you got to be brave to braze trails nobody's ever done before. So it's going to make some uh, lots of power and lots of noise and lots of looks which is what we're going for, so. So, maybe we'll fill you in here a little bit on how it's gonna do all those things, but for right now, you just, there's a whole bunch of steel on there for the hell of it. What else do you do with scrap metal, so. so. <laughs> but there's parts here that I already got here. ARP sent us a bunch of bolts. Yep, ARP, we got that. We've got ISKI lifters. ISKI uh, got us stuff. Fuel injector clinic. Um,
Hi, Durango. We told you the goal is to get this thing into the forest. Well, we also have a deadline of August because, uh, like I spoke about, we got a big event coming up in August. We want to have this thing done. So we were hoping that we had enough time that we could call it creep up on it and like work up towards uh, what we were trying to accomplish with it. But uh, we got to pull the plug on all that stuff. We just got to jump to the good stuff. So what we're going to do is gut the drivetrain out of it. We're going to gut the drivetrain out of this so that we can put, this is just a mock-up deal, but so we can put this in there. Screw-blown Gen 3 Hemi. Uh, that's the mock-up intake, roughly size. We're actually going tomorrow um, out to Darren Mayer's shop, out to Kalamazoo, other west side of the state, but he is the blower guru. So we can work on the pulley setup, the blower setup, everything with it, but we know with our injectors and everything that we have in there, a lot of good companies on board with it. So Holly's on board. Uh, you got Ross Pistons on board. You got Iski. You got um, uh, who else? ARP, like ATI. Like you got a lot of great companies on board to get this thing into here. All right. So give you a little glimpse of some design work being done. That that's actually going to get cut on. The Haas machine so we will see but that is the goal with that hopefully here in the the coming weeks gonna do a, a video showing you an intake manifold being done on the Haas machine there's whatever some other stuff being worked on but here's our mock-up block that we're going to put that on and that on so that I can get all that up to Michigan and uh, I'm going to go see uh, Darren Mayer, the blower guru. He's going to help with some pulley setup and everything. So that should probably be the next video. But it tells you that old, uh, the bait and switch that uh, my boy uh, Daniel did to me is we put everything on here. And then I'm like, okay, well, let's work on getting this loaded. He's like, well, that's not, uh, that's not the one you're taking. I'm working on that for somebody else. I'm like, oh, okay. And then he shows me this and says that's what you're taking with front drive it's an early one it actually has the aluminum uh, valve covers on it before they went to the plastic so 03 ish but uh yeah so now we got to get that one ready so that I can take that up and make that our mock-up uh, for both doing modifications to the vehicle yes or no as well as um, the blower, the basically the pulley setup and everything like that. Also dropping off uh, Aiden's LS uh, so that he can go through that, basically put that back together. It just needs a uh, uh, slight surfacing put back together. It should be all good to go. So, I mean, nothing, no major damage or anything like that to that LS. Um, but we do have a trick up our sleeve with when we do get back to Aiden's car this winter, um, and what the powertrain may be in it because we might be going away from the LS and making a switch there. No, no SMX, no, no billet stuff, but might be making a little bit of a change to what we do with that car. So, but that is my update from down here in Georgia. Uh, as we get this stuff ready to hit the road, get it back to Michigan. Um, and then, like I said, I mean, next video, hopefully I'm going to be at uh, Darren's shop or the next update on this project, I'll be at Darren's shop in uh, Kalamazoo, uh, going through some stuff and working on some other things. Cause it's like, while we're still waiting for all the parts, oh, by the way, Ross Pistons, they're doing the pistons for these engines. We are building two identical five sevens, uh, just to have a spare, but uh, waiting, they were five weeks on the pistons. So we're waiting on the pistons, but other than that, we have most of the stuff together to get these things assembled and ready. Um, but we got to keep moving with everything because as you know with the part shortage we got to move through and keep making sure we have what we need um to get the project done in time and the time frame that we're working on it in so but that is the update from down here in georgia and i'll be checking back with you uh, hopefully for the next video and we're gonna be at the blower guy shop so and uh check that out so thanks for watching please subscribe guys and uh Comment what you want to see, what you want to hear, and sounds good. Thanks. Into here. Now, hood clearance might be a problem. So if we look at where this blower 
cat is, and we looked at it sitting on an engine stand on the floor. Obviously, the oil pan will not be on the floor, so more than likely, we're going to have to put a hole in the hood. I'm telling you that I do not think that'll clear the hood. So, working on the mock-up stuff for that, but that is like the, the jump to go to where confident we're going to be able to get this thing where we want it to be. It's going to do great Aussie skids with it. Uh, it's also going to make four second eighth mile passes uh, with it. And hopefully we're going to take that out in August and we're just going to dominate the event with that. We're going to figure out the exhaust. Maybe it'll be zoomies coming out the side. Don't know. And for all you purists, I'm sorry. We're ruining that to make it go fast. So sometimes you got to make a tough choice. And it's like, do you, do you take... What the hell did I call that in the last video? The unicorn. Do you take the unicorn and preserve it for future generations? Or do you say screw it and say, I want to go fast. So that's Ricky Bobby. Like, I just want to go fast. So literally, we're going to put that in there. We're going to wedge that in there, figure it out. We're not sure yet with everything. That's still sitting there, just like it came off the showroom floor. And it's the middle of freaking June. We have to have that thing ready to run down the track in August. Bobby's been playing around with that stupid project back there. So if we can get that damn thing out of here so that he can start working on this and we can make this go fast. That's the goal. So 5.7 Hemi, all the good parts in it. Screw blower, we're gonna have to support. Yes, all whatever. Everybody, like there's some obvious things here. Number one, nobody's ever been dumb enough to put a screw blower on a Gen 3 Hemi. So therefore, we are custom making the intake for it. Um, out of billet to be able to fit it. That's the mock-up just to get the height right for the injectors and stuff that are in there. It'll be EFI controlled from Holly. So, um, not sure the belt detensioner. Obviously, we got to have an alternator on there. Like, there's lots of things to figure out in a short period of time. I can tell you that there's lots of things in the works to make all this work. That'll all come in future videos. So, that's, that's where I am right now. But long and short, this, there, that fast, everybody else slow. That's the goal. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.